Greetings YouTube, Kunis here, and welcome to a new Let's Play series for Crusader Kings 2. Where in this series we'll be playing starting as the chief of Deas Pimhain. And this choice is actually very, very, um, something I've been thinking about for a while because I haven't actually played Crusader Kings 2 in quite some time. And the main reason is that I found the game had gotten very easy. Anyone who's been with me for years or has stalked through my channel has noticed the existence of a Sparta series where I went from like nothing to even less to controlling most of the world by the end of the game anyway. So I've always found that Crusader Kings 2 does not necessarily tickle my fancy as much as other games because of its relative ease and I've decided because I know a lot of you guys want me to produce more Crusader Kings 2 content because it is really fun to watch being like a horrible human being and backstabbing your own family members all the time. So I've decided to find some kind of middle ground. I have picked a difficult start um, as much as I could, and I will explain why this is a difficult start momentarily. And my goal will also to add an extra layer of difficulty on this by sticking to Gavelkind. We will be playing as Deaspim Hain in Gavelkind only, and we're going to see how far we can get with this imposed restriction on ourselves. This is also a difficult start, because normally Ireland is Tutorial Island, as it is called, even though they added way more provinces. Um, but we are playing in 769, which means the Vikings will be coming and will be raiding our, the crap out of us all of the time. And it will also be a bonus difficult, because we start as Tribal and not Feudal, and I actually don't know what Tribal does. So we're gonna try to stop being Tribal, to become Feudal, to become like a center of technology, and power and to survive the Viking invasions and to, well, see how far we can go from there. Can we form at least Britannia while sticking to Gavelkind, starting as some old, well, he's 69, old isolated loser in Ireland? Let's find out. We will be Iron Man, not that I think anything can, uh, I'm not going for specific achievements. Um, we're just gonna call it Gavelkind only. Irishman. Whoa, I should uh, spell that properly. There we go. Gavelkind only Irishman. Let's do this. Let us see how far we can go as the chief of the Asmahim Hain, who is probably gonna die three days into unpausing the game. Hopefully, he has an heir. Otherwise, we'll just have to restart with another Irish loser. Or maybe with the same guy and try to be lucky. Now, that would be boring. Maybe with the other guy who's like 35 and who's our neighbor. Uh, welcome to Crusader Kings 2. I know how this game works. I am good. Now, do I have an heir? I do have an heir. He is 49. Does he have an heir? He does have an heir. I have a grandson who's 19. They're all, um... Well, you're actually decent. My heir is decent, except for the fact he's 49. My grandson is not good at fighting, but I guess he'll do for now. Um, right, so, first thing to do in any Crusader Kings 2 situation, get married. Find someone to have the babies with. Um, I don't care about non-aggression packs, but that's nice. You're lustful, so maybe I can get some babies with her. I think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, why not, uh, why not get ourselves? I lose a lot of prestige. Don't care about prestige, this is not EU4 after all. Um, next to you, I want to arrange a marriage. I want you to have more babies. Actually, having too many babies could be bad if we stick to gavel kind. Um, but, we'll deal with that when we get there. So I'm not used to right-clicking to get these marriages going. Let's go find the grandson. And also get him married. We don't want the dynasty to end. Any other lustful? Well, no one wants to marry him. But, Great Eminence. Fertility plus 10%, even though she isn't 29. That's problematic. But, we don't have a great pick, and at the same time, we don't necessarily want the family to be too big, so we're gonna go with that. Alright. And then I can pick an ambition. I should have picked my ambition to get married first. No, they changed how ambitions work, right? Um... Become King of Ireland. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You're gonna die way before then. Uh, see the realm prosper. I liked this. 
Has ruled the realm in peace for five years. That's not really gonna happen. Need to make a friend. Um, create a treasury. Um, oh, you're right, because artifacts are a thing now. There's so many things I haven't explored with yet, so we're gonna maybe just fall flat on our faces on my claim of the game being too easy with everything they've added. I haven't really touched the game since my uh, previous attempt at uh, being, you know, full Habsburg. So let's go with the Cedar on Prosper for now. Because uh, I don't think we will be able to um, even declare any meaningful wars or anything. Um, is there anything to give you health in here? Martial and combat skill. Health plus one from hunting. I don't really care about fertility too, too much. Health plus one from theology. Um, and health plus one from family. Oh, interesting. Let's go with family. Why not? Let's focus on our son and our grandson. Sounds good. Uh, who's our council? We have a bunch of uh, <laughs> a random, <laughs> a random city bishop is a powerful vassal. All right, cool. Um, fabricate claim on. Uh... Oh, see, that's the tricky part. That is the tricky part because if I look at uh, the Jure duchies. I technically belong under the service of this guy, who hates me because he wants me to become his vassal. Can I, um, swear fealty? You're unlikely to refuse. Um. Hmm. But he hates me. Why does he hate me? Because he desires the chiefdom of Diaspim Hain. He probably desires it for himself. Yeah, that's gonna be annoying. And he has a de jure claim on me, but he has two children. Is it Gavelkind? Agnetic, Gavelkind. Gavel kind. It is Gavelkind. So once you die, um, both of your sons will get a title each, and one will become a vassal of the other, and they'll become a glorious mess. So I think this guy is currently my uh, prime possible target for expansion. So I'm going to go for this guy. Fabricate a claim here. And uh, it's extremely unlikely that it happens. Um, but it's pretty much all we can do at the moment. That seems good. What else can we do? Our marshal can... Uh, organize the army? No. Train troops? Train troops sounds amazing. I don't care about organized raid. Uh, steward can... Um, Hmm. No, I don't want to settle. Oh, it's settled tribe. Uh, increasing the chance that culture changes to Irish. That's not a really. Uh, it's already Irish. So that's not a problem. Oversee construction is not useful. Build a legend, which gives me prestige. Um, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, I go to war. Can I go to war easily? Hey, you. Can I like, just declare war on you? Establish the border dispute. Um, choose dispute in country that borders you. Choosing to which conquest not backed by claim carries hefty penalties. Um. So I could fight a border dispute, but I would suffer. Hmm. I lose gold to do it. I don't care to do either of those things. So I could, but I really want the claim to do it. No ideal. But if I'm desperate, I can just attack him. If I ever manage the money. Which I can get if I can still extort the Jews. Can I extort the Jews? I can totally extort the Jews. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, but we won't do that just yet. Um, let's manage our little... How do I... How do I... Um, upgrade this? Ooh, market village. Tax income and retinue size. That actually seems like a decent investment. Um, 
How do I become landed? I assume it's in my decisions. Adopt feudalism. I need to have absolute tribal organization and my capital holding needs to have a stone hill fort or I'm holding a castle. Stone hill fort is this thing. Probably upgraded a couple times. Um, doable. Doable. How much money do I make? Oh, that's not money. All right. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna jumpstart our realm then. The Jews will jumpstart our realm. We will uh, upgrade to a wooden hill fort. Okay. I think that's good to start. We will rely on Jewish money to. Uh, help us here that seems good to me my tech will not be changing because I am not at least a duke uh, that seems good to me so we'll, uh, we'll pause and uh, let some time go oh yeah I can get money from getting married all right I am married okay not that that's going to do much. Oh yeah, I should probably be on pause. That would help. Is my son married? I accept. That's cool, but my son still has not responded. Alright, okay. Special minor titles grantable. No valid candidates for a court physician. That doesn't matter. Right now we need to wait for our hill fort to build. Because our ability to raise levies is... Uh... Yeah, how strong is this guy anyway? He has 845 troops. I have... I have a little less than that. Interesting. But I can totally raise some mercs. Well, not many mercs, but I can raise some mercs. There are some cheap companies if I ever need them. Uh, ah, marital bliss. Yay! Let's fall in love with a woman that's like a fort of our age. Because that is how love works, right? Um, that said, oh, I'm also lustful. That's amazing. We're both lustful. Watch there be more babies. Uh, speaking also of babies, let's look at our laws. Inheritance is agnatic, agnatic gavel kind, which we will not change. Um... We will definitely not change it. The realm needs to go to max tribal organization. When can I change this? I cannot change it. Because legalism needs to be won. Tolerance needs to be created in trade. I don't care about status of women that much right now. I need to be higher than count. Yeah, that's the problem. Hmm. So we're gonna stay a tribe for quite some time, I think. Another thing I could do is swear fealty to this guy and then start backstabbing internally. That is always an option. Or I could just swear fealty to someone who's even bigger. Like, uh... This guy, maybe. Hey, you. Can I become your vassal? I cannot swear fealty to him. I can gain cruel or I can gain kind. Let's gain kind. Did I gain kind? I did gain kind. I am so nice. Uh, I can lose some prestige. Or no, sell, sell back. My son loses some prestige. And he hates me and I gain some piety. Or we both gain prestige and lose some piety. Let's gain some prestige because I don't have any right now. Um... Good job, kid. You will be prestigious yet. Um, right now we need to wait for the claim to happen. That seems to be the one thing limiting us. Uh, which means that building these buildings is not necessarily the most useful thing I can be doing, but... 
Well, we'll see, because, like, anything that gives me more money is going to be welcome, so... Once the wooded hill fort is built, this affects threat new size, levy size, and, well, fort level, which I guess works. Okay. Now I can build a market village to gain some more delicious money. Let's gain some more money. Because really there's nothing else. This would be reinforced hill fort 3. Which requires castle infrastructure. So really, stopping being a tribe is going to take some effort on my part. But that's okay. We kind of expected that. It's going to be a little slowish start. I have a new heir. My my son died. Um, why did my son die? Murdered on the orders of Art Gull Organact Reitlid. Who is this guy? Who, who murdered my son? Art Gull, that's not this guy. Um, Art Gull, Eoganacht, Reitlind. Are you part of my court? Um, I can imprison him. Oh yeah, it is this guy. Art Gull, Eoganacht, Reitlind. Okay, yeah, so it is this guy. Who is my rival, Spy ma my ri my spy master is my rival? What? What? Why is he my rival? Tribal Kinslayer, look at that. You killed my son. I don't care too, too much, I'll just make a new one. Let's continue. I'll let him roam free for now, but I will need a new marshal. And I don't have many options. Can I just, uh, can I, can I get a guy? For one gold, I can get a guy. Uh, sure. No, wow, he's a zero. Let's get another one. Uh, whoa, excellent. I'll take him. Because regardless, if he's not what I'm asking for, uh, my steward can just lose his job. Um, hmm. What are your stats? You're zero marshal as well. Okay. Wait, I made you a marshal. First... I will uh, change council positions, and you shall become my steward. These guys will trade places. Um, did I do this right? Senshan is my steward, as it should be. And now if I look at positions, you should be... Um, hmm. Prosperity gain, build legend. Oversee construction. Oversee construction? Why not? Um, and you will be... Wow, it's zero marshals. You're, you're so terrible. I'll take this guy instead. You're still not good, but... Uh, at least you'll do something. I forgot to do something with the other guys. Um... Improve religious relations with the Pope. That's always good. If it hasn't changed since last I've played. Um, and you hate me. So, um... Go and study technology in Byzantium. As my rival, if you get arrested, I won't cry. That sounds good to me. Let's go learn in the city of cities how to build a realm. And hopefully escape our tribal habits. Uh, arrange marriage. Oh, hey, I have a claim. I have a claim. Guys, 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 I have a claim. I have a claim. And, uh, who? Commander of Pickland and my courtier? Yeah, whatever. Okay, how many troops can you muster? 808, because you have a war focus. Can I change my focus to war too? 
Um, I cannot change my focus for another four years. Cool. Um, do you have any allies? You do not. I will declare war on my claim. That seems good to me. And now I am at war. I will raise my armies. I will hire a... Uh, Hopefully not too expensive merch. Uh, let's see, the cheapest merch I can get is probably the Saxon band. Okay, merge onwards. Let's go fight this guy while we lose all of our money fighting. Can I just assault this thing? It is mine. It is mine as well. And now I can enforce peace. Boom. Easy war. And now I can disband all of this. Awesome. We have gained territory. Now I am your equal in all but title. Um, so you will now go and fabricate me a claim on this guy. And now if I go in Intrigue... Um, why can I not uh, expel the Jews? Because I'm not at least a Duke. That is why. Alright. Well then. Now we need to build a bigger war chest. I need to pick a new ambition. Because I clearly failed to... Uh, groom an heir. Sure. I don't know how I'll manage that, but uh, I have a rival. That's really unfortunate. Um, to start with a rival like this. But I did gain a territory. So that is good. My hair is my grandson. Market village has been built in the Espenhain. I can upgrade this to make even more money. But I need money. I need to keep at least probably 200. That's going to take a while to build. Um, new administration will go away at some point. Recently conquered will also go away at some point. That is fine. I can build new holdings, but I don't want to. Um, can I even build cities? I cannot build cities. Uh, we have a daughter. So rather, I have a great-granddaughter. Look at me with my majestic mustache. I do feel particularly uneasy about my position. Um, this guy hates me now because he wants both of my stuff. I feel like I could just uh, swear fealty to him. That would probably be very easy. The question is like... If I swear fealty to him, will he try to rob me of my titles? I feel like that is safer. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this because that way... Alright. Now he likes me. He is depressed. If he suicides, we may have... Um... An opportunity. I will send you to fabricate a claim on the not capital. Someone just died. Claudia Sorrenti died on the toilet. Uh, Alright, I'll be your chancellor. Unmarried heir. Oh yeah, your wife just died on the toilet. That is truly unfortunate. 5% um, fertility. Is that like the best I can get? If I want you to be, you know, producing babies, because I don't feel good about the future of the family, um, I'm going to take what I can get, right? And my rival, you, who you are also of my dynasty, should get married. So, um, let's find you. Hey, she's 18. Perfect. Done. Done. 
Now, begin producing babies, if you will. I do not care. Now, I need this guy to die. Point commander. I don't want to be your commander. Uh, you want me to support you in the council and you'll owe me a favor? I don't care. I don't care about my liege's council. Um, I will be loyalist. Because, why the hell not? Why the hell not? Um, my levies are regenerating. Fairly slowly at that. Now me and him are equal in all but name. And my goal will be to supplant him, to acquire the duchy title from his family. It's actually the issue. Well, it's not an issue. Right now, if I die before my wife gives me an heir, it's not too big of a deal because my grandson will inherit. The issue is that I need to not have two sons. Or I need, like, I can have one son safely. I can not have two sons. And my grandson needs to not have two sons. But for now, we'll see what we can do. Worst case, we'll send one in a temple, or we'll get some murdered or something. We have options. There are always options. How, how related to me is this guy? He is of my dynasty. He has rivaled me, but that, that's all it tells me. I don't see any familial ties. What's, 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 what's your family tree? I have kinsmen that are deeper. This guy is not really to anyone. Well, this guy, not anyone. This is like a straight line. This just this just keeps going. Oh, hey, we have one that has two. He has one, he has one, he has one. Now we're back. We're, I, I have no idea how I'm related to this guy. He is distantly of my dynasty. Therefore, technically has... Very, very weak claim to all of this, but uh, who cares? Let's build up money and prepare for... Um, actually, if, if I'm his vassal and I feel relatively safe, I should just build a market village. And then, from there, have better income. The goal is essentially to be able to hire a mercenary and insta-win a war, because that worked very well the first time. So we want a repeat of that. The next time I have to go to war. Once I get a duchy title, I feel like things will be swimming a lot better. Um, but we'll see. We'll have to see how well we can manage that. Um, it's going to be fairly straightforward if I can get this. Like, if he dies before me, which is unlikely considering he's 60. Oh, there we go, I died. There we go, so be it. So be it. And now you want me to be your counselor? I will accept. Not that I care too, too much. Uh, I do have a wife. I need to produce babies. My ambition should be to um, groom an heir. And the uh, council is discontent. I don't care about that too much. I can pick a character focus. I want... A family. So that is good. I can righteously imprison this guy who is also... Why is he my rival too? Why are you also my rival? Why do you hate my entire family? I should just imprison him. Screw it. Go away. Alright. That, that's safer. If I look at my own council, I have no one in it. Um, let's get a new marshal. This guy was an amazing steward. Um, you want to be on my council, and you have decent spy masteriness, and you have good learning. Okay, now we have a council. You are fabricating a claim on this, which we won't. We will be training troops in the capital, which is necessary. Um, you will be overseeing construction, because we'll be constructing quite a few things. You will be... Uh, go study technology, not that it matters, but go see how the city of cities does things. It's a great place to be. And uh, you can... 
Hmm, build zeal, monthly piety. Possible outcomes, zealots raised. Now let's just improve religious relations with the Pope. Let's tell the Pope how great of a Catholic we are. Okay, matter has been set. Um, a daughter was born to this guy. I don't care too much. Why must you be like the rival of everyone? No one likes you. You have really good spy master stats though, so I should be worried. My heir is my daughter, who is one. My father in the lodge has died. Okay, two. Oh wait, is it this guy? No, it's not this guy. Petty King of Nunu. He is depressed though, so if he wants to die any time now. Hey, now we make more money. Um I cannot upgrade the market town again because I uh, do not have town infrastructure high enough level, unfortunately. But I can totally develop this one. There is already our market village. I can get it to a market town once we have the money. I think that's a fine goal right now. I'm gonna make the best out of what we have. Ah, marital bliss. Yes, we must love our lovely wife, who has a strong claim on the. Chiefdom of Yartar Konakta. Where is this? It's this one. You are my brother-in-law. My wife has a strong claim on this. And, um... Oh, but wait. Does it even matter? Yeah, I don't have an heir. I don't have a child by her. And anyway, you are a vassal of this guy. So that is, uh... A little difficult to fight. I would need a war chest. Ah, <sighs> excellent. You want council support? You are 59. I don't need your old crusty favors. You're gonna die before I can claim it anyway. Um, council's all ready to do stuff already. I'm gonna be loyalist for now. And, um, when you die, um, this goes to Kognal, and this goes to Kopnak. Yeah, when you die, your things are split in two. As it should be. And then I can do the backstabbing from behind. And claim all these titles. And I have apparently reached the end of the episode as my chair squeaked horribly. And I will now thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.